All right, check this out. You guys are back on the official Blue Devil page and on Blue Devil. Now, as you guys can see behind me, we got a video I'm going to react to. Now, look, this type of video I would never react to for a couple of reasons. Number one, this video is on Vlad TV. Number two, it is a dude that goes by the name of Big Tone. He's from up north. Uh, again, these are videos I would not react to for those two apparent reasons but if you haven't caught the new drift or you don't know what's going on let me explain it to you on this page here the official blue devil we're going to react to everything and anything we're going to keep it unbiased like we always do but we're not going to give no preference to one side or another all right and i know you guys always see me giving preference to the blue team well that's the team i belong to but right here on this channel, we're going to tone it down and react to everybody. We're going to give everybody a fair chance. All right. So if you got videos you want me to react to, send them to my Instagram at the hater world. Now, I will say if anybody if you send me a video on anybody dissing what I believe in, then I probably won't react to it. But if it's some guy from up north that is just talking then I'll listen and I'll react. But if it's some dude from up north dissing the homies, come on. Don't get don't get don't get carried away. Alright. And from what I've seen about Big Tone, is he's always humble and he's always respectful. Alright. He's not out here cruising in red low riders. He's not out here flossing a red rag. He's not out here acting like a tough guy. Or maybe I haven't seen it. And we're not talking about when you're young we're talking about now today so with that being said we're going to react to this video big tone on texas fans supporting south park mexican after he got a 31 year old pregnant 31 backwards right we all know that south park mexican got a parole hearing coming up in october i think it's the 27th if i'm not mistaken i seen it somewhere uh so everybody's popping up with this uh, SPM thing, you know. So we're going to give you a reaction. But again, this is going to be the official page. This is going to be the official page for all reactions. We are no longer going to be reacting on the hater world. The hater world is only going to be for lives, clips, and shorts. All right. So if you want to catch our reactions... This is the place to be. With that being said, let's go ahead and watch this video and get you guys that Blue Devil reaction. Now, look, we're going to watch it like this so we don't get no copyright from Vlad. And if you guys want to watch the official video, shout out to Vlad TV. Go watch it on Vlad TV. All right. Go watch it on Vlad TV. Salute to him. Let's go. A baby bash when I interviewed him. You know, he was assigned to uh, South Park Mexican. Yeah. You know about that whole story? From the outside in. Yeah. 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 I mean, basically, South Park Mexican went to a strip club, met a girl, took her home. They had sex. She got pregnant. She ended up being 13. Yeah. Crazy. And now he's doing yeah. 30 years. Yeah. You know, I remember... Uh, now, look, uh, to be exact, I'm Vlad... There's more to that story than just that. It's not only a 13-year-old. There's also a 9-year-old. Just to be clear, I'm not sure which one he got convicted of. I don't recall. I don't want to dig into the paperwork. All right. But there is a couple of cases of underage females, not just one. Let's go. Lazy Boy, he said that like he was supposed to do a, a feature with a big rapper, but he found out that the rapper's right hand man had like paperwork of messing with underage yeah. girls. Yeah. All stuff bad, like yeah. that. When you look at a situation like that, like a South Park Mexican. Yeah. Is that someone who you could work with once he gets out? No, not at all. I mean, just just because I'm from California, we have a different set. I, regardless of the story, if it, I, I've heard different things. I've been in Texas multiple times. I know people out there and I know they a lot of people hold South Park Mexican in high regard. You know, they overlook certain things. I don't back then. I don't know now. I haven't been. It's been recently. Yeah. Now, I've said that too. Uh, listen, a lot of Texas fans, they love him. They lo He's a legend in Texas because of his music. And uh, 
it is what it is. But us from California, and it's not that we're hating on Texas, or it's not that we're belittling Texas, because salute to all my Texas people, all love to all my Texas people. But I think that when it comes to this subject, it's a case of what's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong. If you love his music, you love his music. There's nothing that can change that. But if you're a human being, you know what's right and you know what's wrong. So again, no Texas hate, it's just facts. Now the new wave things coming out the internet, I've seen that, but this is back then, people still slap South Park, his numbers are still up. And, and I would trip out on that because I'm like in California, that shit will not fly, man. You got them charges or that jacket on you, it's bad news, bro. Well, yeah, because there was other stuff afterwards. Like, I think the girl, what he got arrested for was allegedly, I think he had messed around with like his girl's stepkids or something like that. It, it was it was multiple situations. And of course, it's a murky story, but ultimately he got like 30 something years. He's still yeah. in prison. And I remember a lot of people when I interviewed Baby Bash, they're all in the comments, yo, you should do South Park Mexican. And I'm like, eh, child molester? Eh, nah, yeah. okay. Hey, you know what? I'm glad that Vlad got standards. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed he said those words because we're on YouTube. But I'm glad that he got standards. Even Vlad TV said, nah, I'm good. I don't need that interview. I'm stepping away from that. You know why? This is what me and Droops were talking about the other day. Pros and cons. Every time you get... Every time you're going to interview somebody or e not even interview, when you're going to attach yourself to somebody, whether it's work, friendship, uh, relationship, business, you got to weigh out the options. What am I going to gain and what am I going to lose? And if you're not going to gain more than what you're going to lose, or you might gain more at the moment but lose in the long run, then it's not worth it. A lot of people will be like, oh, I want to do that interview. I'm going to blow up. Yeah, you'll probably blow up overnight, and tomorrow people going to forget about you. So you got to weigh out your options when it comes to anything. And Vlad TV basically said, nope, I ain't going to gain. Let's continue. Yeah, it's I'm not a good, good look. I mean, that's a, that's a touchy subject because yeah. it's definitely, regardless if you... And I did hear that from people out there that he was it was a setup, this and that. You know, I did remember hearing that. But at the same time, it goes back to at the strip club. But I'm a, I'm a grown man. I got a teenage kids. I would definitely be able to tell a 13 year old kid. That's what I'm saying. Like, like OK, I understand she's a strip club, but, you know, a 13 year old when you're, you know, you know I mean, OK, if she was 17, 17 and a half, maybe yeah, yeah. if she was developed or whatever, maybe yeah. you can get fooled. But, you know, a damn 13 year old. And if, even if she is, that's his eyes are on that type of person. That's what, you know I'm, what I'm saying. saying? That yeah. must be his type. Yeah. And that's why I was like, nah, man, I, I don't think I can give that person a platform. Nah. And I'm sure it would do numbers, but at least you got some integrity on that, man. <laughs> nah. It will do numbers. It will do numbers. But Vlad is looking at this like the long run. I'm going to lose real fans over this just one interview. It's not worth it. Hey, but listen, I don't want to say I'm glad, but Big Tone is standing on business. He's saying, I wouldn't mess with it because I know a 13-year-old from a over uh, uh, a of-age female. I could be in the club and I could tell you who's 13 and who's not. Now, we couldn't say the same for the guy he works with, GT. You guys can go watch that. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not going to do that right now. But go look at that interview and look at this one. So far, Big Tone has been standing on business, been respectful, speaking with facts, and telling everybody, look, it's just not a good look. And again, I say this again. You are in charge of your brand, your image, your everything, right? So it's okay to rock with people, right? But if them people have questionable backgrounds and you find out after you befriended them, it's up to you to say, I want to continue our friendship. I want to continue my support knowing that you have these questionable things. Or, you know what, I care about my brand too much that I rock with you, but I got to step back. 
but I got to step back. And I will say there was a couple of YouTubers that I used to watch. Well, it's just one. I used to watch. Uh, he he from the he from eight hundred five. Yeah, I, no, is he from eight hundred? I don't know, but he up there somewhere. And I used to watch his content. And once his background became questionable because of the people he went to go do videos with, I should step back. I said, you know what? I, I rock with this guy, but I no longer can go in his chats. I no longer can salute him. Uh, not because he's a bad guy, but the things that he's doing are questionable to what I want to be surrounded with. So respectfully, I'm going to just step back and let him do his thing. And recently I heard the guy saying that I was that I was in his chat, being his fan. I was rocking with the guy and he was rocking with me. But you got to make a choice in life. Do I want to be associated with something like this or not? Sometimes you got to take the high road and just say, I'm cool. Man, because, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't care who you are, what culture you're from. Nobody respects child molesters. Yeah. Facts. Anywhere in the world. That's scum of the earth, yeah. I yeah. Heard, didn't I hear there's gonna a new law is going to pass some... Governor, some politicians like, hey, man, they're going to give a death penalty to... I heard castra I think Louisiana's doing castrations. Hey, come on. Yeah, we should get that out here, man. Yeah. I follow some of those uh, TikTok pages where they... Hey, let's all remember when Almighty Suspect was here, we were like, hey, people that do that should get branded on the face and get neutered. I'm not sure if that's the correct word. Uh, because we need to know who they are in public. Oh, you've messed with kids. Make sure my kids are safe. And they ain't going to the bathroom by themselves because you in this presence. That's only right. Think about it, bro. If we're outside at the mall or at some place and we see somebody with a branded logo on their face, we know what they've done and what they're into. We're going to just make sure our kids are safe around that. Like, come on. That makes perfect sense. Shout out to Almighty Suspect. They be whooping the uh, predator's ass. I don't know if you've seen that. They, they'll go up and just yeah, suck his uh, up. And Vitaly. Sock him up. Yeah, Vitaly. Yeah, I'm, he, he, yeah. I'm like, man, yeah, come game. on. Yeah, he's getting like celebrities to go along yeah. with him. i seen that dude. But i seen some dude. He literally sets people up and then he, he, he just pops out and then he just, he'll just slap him up, sock yeah. him up. i seen that too. I was like, all right, cool. That, that's a dangerous game though, man. You know I what I mean? mean? That child bluster might have a pistol on him. I mean, I, you know? it could happen, but yeah, I mean. I, I mean hey, Blast, stop saying that word, Vlad. I feel like that dude, he's doing God's work. If they ain't going to come, he's doing, I don't know. I was sharing bro on his Instagram. I gave I mean, him some love listen, on that. I mean, I interviewed Chris Hansen to, you know, to yeah, get yeah, your predator. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and he made a whole career out of that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And But like, I think ultimately a lot of the. Tr and when Chris Hansen did that, bro, you had lawyers, you had church people. Man, you had everybody trying to link with kids, bro. It was wild. It was wild, bro charges got dropped because they were using like actresses they were over 18 for the setups oh yeah you yeah, see yeah. what i'm saying so it's kind of like they found some loopholes some yeah so, found so the molester would show up at the house and the the little girl would be there she's like okay hold on i'm just gonna go change yeah and then the police would swoop in yeah. but then once the case got to court it was like well but this girl's actually 19 so that's, you see what I'm saying? So that was the yeah. loophole. But well, then there's the intention. But then there's the intent. Was, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, t like for example, a lot of people get hemmed up buying fake bricks of cocaine mm -hmm. from the police. Yeah, but right? it was fake. I should if be free. Intent. Yeah. Yep. Facts. Listen, I don't think I ever would uh, would see myself saying this, but salute to Big Tone for standing on on business and principle, and not selling out for a SPM feature or a SPM verse hook shout out a lot of people bro uh a lot of people would sell out real quick oh spm he's about to be free oh i could get a verse he'll rock with me nah nah if it's wrong it's wrong and salute to capone because capone is the one that brought all this to the forefront and i know people are going to be like oh we've been knowing this yeah we have but capone with the big platform that he has brought it to the forefront him and Lazy Dub, and then it took off, all right? And now everyone's talking about it. Everyone's making videos about it, you know, and now the awareness is out there. And Capone said it himself. I just wanted to bring the awareness. That's it. No hate, just the awareness. So, again, shout out to Big Tone for standing on business. 
uh, and doing what was right and saying it's a no go. Right. Uh, now, again, I'm only reacting to this video, not to him as a person or outside of this video, only to this video. All right. And shout out to Vlad, too, for having some integrity and morals and saying, I don't want that, you know. And again, let me make this clear. Whatever I said about Vlad and Big Tone, it's only about this video. I might change my mind on the next video. I do a video by video basis reaction, which means that this video, I agree with both these gentlemen. The next video, I might not. And that's why people don't like me. They think that if I like you once, I should always like you. Shout out to everybody watching. Shout out to all the subscribers. Shout out to all the homies. All right. Shout out to the blue team. Uh, make sure you guys comment down below. Run it up for the algorithm. Like the video. Share the video. And with that being said, you already know I'm Blue Devil. This has been a Blue Devil reaction. And we out.